Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, brace yourselves, this might be a bit of a long video. <laughs> um, I am 11 days past my five day transfer and I'm coming to you to provide you with an update and let you know how things are going. Um, I am cautiously, nervously still expecting I did have my first beta drawn yesterday and I got the results and the nurse that calls, she's my favorite nurse and she's one that told me to be cautiously expecting. They like to see anything over 50 at this point and my beta came back at 33. So um, yeah, that makes me really nervous and I'm worried about either a chemical pregnancy or a miscarriage. Um, my lines on my first response are not getting any darker. Uh, the darkest I saw them was yesterday, or not yesterday, yes, yesterday, <laughs> on 10 days past a five day transfer. Um, I can go ahead and show you my tests, um, starting from my first positive, which was five days past a five day transfer and then leading up to today, and then um, I can show you my digital. I, I guess I'll go ahead and show you my digital just now. So, it still says pregnant. It's on one of the Walmart Equate, I don't know, digital pregnancy tests. I don't know if they're 25 units or 50 units of HCG. I've heard mixed, heard and read mixed reviews, um, just like the first response. Um, digital, I think I still have one in here. I mean, they look just like a regular first response. Mine obviously has said yes before, but, um, it has since gone blank. My clear blues all still say pregnant from nine days past a five-day transfer. And I had thought that their sensitivity was 50, but I'm obviously wrong since... Um, my beta came back at 33, but I don't know. I think at this point, I'm just going to stop testing with um, first response, the early testing, so I don't have to keep looking at the lines. I'd rather, if this ends up being a miscarriage, to just keep doing the digitals. That way, I'll for sure have a definitive answer and not have to second guess, like, oh, is this line getting darker or is this line getting lighter or you know put myself through pregnancy test hell <laughs> so um yeah so I'll go ahead and show you what my tests look like and kind of let you know how things are going and what we're going to do moving forward from here so here is my Five days passed, six days, seven, eight, nine. This was yesterday's, and this was this morning's. So between yesterday and this morning, it looks to me like they're getting lighter, and that caused me a lot of panic. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect at this point. I don't know if the baby is staying with me or um, not. So if any of you guys have any hopeful stories where your beta numbers have come back, um, not what they should be, and you ended up continuing on with the viable pregnancy, I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Um, and if you would, if you're the praying type, please pray for us and this baby. Um, I have one embryo left, and if this ends up, um, that I have a miscarriage, then we'll use that last embryo at some point. I'm not really sure when. I've already been in touch with my clinic, and, um, that same nurse that um, I always talk to. She was so nice and understanding and 
provided me with a lot of information um, on what to do going forward. I am still going for my beta, my second beta, which is on Monday in the morning. And then um, I probably will get my results back sometime after lunch. Um, they were pretty quick on Friday to get back to me. Um, and of course, I'll be continuing my medication to, um, I guess we just don't know at this point. So we'll see what the future holds. And I really hope that this baby wants to stay with me and continues to develop and grow. And, you know, maybe it's just a slow starter, as I've heard that some frozen embryos do start off rather slow and take a while to get going and build up um, the hormone levels. So we will see. <clears throat> I'm sorry it's not a more positive video, but um, I just wanted to document the vulnerability that I'm experiencing right now and um, you know, help any of you that are going through a similar experience or have gone through a similar experience. Maybe you have um, some feedback to provide to me or, um, you know, I guess we'll just see how things go. Um, yeah, as always, you know, I wish you guys the best of luck in your journeys and I hope that this video helps one of you in the future or currently um, just know you're not alone, and um, if this ends up being another loss, this will be loss number three for us. Um, so that's a bit of a tough pill to swallow at this point. I'm kind of lost and don't know what to do other than just keep praying and being hopeful. And we'll see, like I said, we'll see how this turns out. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted and let you know what Monday's test brings. So, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Oh, I do. Sorry, I meant my symptoms. So, um, other than a little bit of cramping, I haven't really had anything else. My breasts are still sore. Um, I was feeling nauseous yesterday, and I thought that was a good sign, and... Um, yeah, I'm still, I mean, I don't feel like super pregnant. My symptoms aren't outrageous or anything, but I'm only four weeks and two days along. So I wouldn't expect very much to happen at this point, but I mean, every pregnancy is different. So yeah, again, I don't really have anything else to fill you guys in on, so I'll just sign off right here and wish us luck and I wish you guys well too. Thanks for watching. Bye.